what's the term you can't um, do things like you like, can't make art by committee I, I kind of disagree for me working by myself isn't always as fun as working with other people because we get you know I get so trapped into my same old <laughs> thing and the collaborations I've done which have mostly been for public art projects um, but other for other projects as well um, they demand me to think beyond my own limitations. Any work of mine, you know, uh, I can come up with, tell you about how someone else <laughs> influenced it, either by giving me an idea, telling me I should change something that made it actually much better than it was. Anyone with an idea, which is everyone, can make something that's kind of creative and interesting to the rest of humanity. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to like, just, kind of have focus groups on, is this good art? <laughs> There's a collective that I'm a part of called Cause Collective, and we've done a few different public art projects, one of which is called Along the Way, and um, it's a video mosaic um, that is about subjects, uh, and people who live in the San Francisco Bay area, everyday people, and um, if you talk to any of the five of us about our own influ influ why we did that project, we could talk about it as related to our own art practice, but it's still one piece. We want to basically use the, the art that we've been making as kind of an inspiration for other people to be able to kind of to contribute and respond to the work that we've been doing. And, and so it's, we don't want it to live entirely on the web. We want it to people feel like they can make work in the real world and then engage with it on the web and also hopefully bring it back into their lives in different ways. Maybe at the greatest, hope of my work and maybe has, it probably hasn't gotten there yet is to just to get to that point of being like you can tell me what to think about my art because you're a person you got eyes you know and and that will probably change the way I make art